All right, for those who like things fast, a propane grill may be the way to go, but purists will tell you there's nothing like cooking over charcoal. Barbecue master Ted Reeder joins us on the AM patio to talk about the virtues of charcoal. Great to see you again, Ted. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Everybody's great. You know, and I was thinking about this because my dad always used charcoal, and then when I became a big girl and got my own barbecue, I was too frightened of it. I find it intimidating. You're going to bust through all of that for us. Oh, it's, it, charcoal is absolutely easy dead easy. Now, when it comes to charcoal, there's two ways to start. You have briquettes, which are compressed pieces of, of charcoal. These ones are actually coconut based, and there's all kinds of variety. When you're looking to buy charcoal, make sure you're buying pure charcoal or 100% natural or even organic charcoal. You want no fuels or anything added to it, no binders. You want it to be pure charcoal. will give you the best flavor. Briquettes, they, they, they last a long time, but they burn at a lower temperature. Lump, this is the stuff. This burns hot, this burns fast. When buying lump charcoal, you want to look for charcoal that's got nice big pieces. They'll last a lot longer. Once it comes down to you've picked your charcoal and you've got all your grills that you're going to do, you want to figure out how you're going to light it. And there's a variety of different ways to light charcoal. One, <clears throat> there's these pucks. And this is just compressed paper, and you light this, and you put it in the charcoal, and it'll light naturally. You never want to use lighter fluid. Lighter fluid taints your food, makes your grill taste bad, and it's just not worth putting fuel on something that you're going to eat. So stay away from it. You can use an electric starter. This is a coil ring. You plug it in, or this is a blower that heats up the charcoal. You have over here on my charcoal kettle, we have a charcoal chimney. You fill it with charcoal, you light the bottom with a piece of newspaper, and up it comes. But if you want charcoal fast and easy, this is what you do. You get yourself one of these things. And this, it's like a flamethrower. You light it up. It's propane based, all right? And you just point it at your charcoal like this, and you get hot, fast charcoal in about minutes. It's quick, it's easy, and it gets your coal hot and fast so that you can be cooking in a faster time. Unbelievable. You can pick them up online, find them at your local big box store. They're a wicked, wicked thing, and it doubles up for killing the weeds in your garden. <laughs> I love that. That's quite the powerful little thing. Ted, very quickly, Ted, so tell me, when you're, if you're, you're going to Sorry, do I lost, the charcoal I lost root, there. You, okay, can you hear me? Now I can hear you, sorry. Uh, no, not at all. I just want to know, in terms of time, if you're doing it with one of the electrical things, not the big flamethrower that you said, how long do you wait before you can put the meat on? About 20 to 30 minutes, depending on what it is, and depending also on the weather. If you've got a high wind, it's going to light that fire faster. So charcoal, you have to be patient. You've got to, like, slow things down. But when it comes to the cooking, it's going to give you the biggest flavor. Gas is a wonderful convenience, but it has nothing over flavor. And when it comes to cooking food, you want to have that really big boost of flavor. And charcoal is what's going to start. It's the beginning of your recipe. Steaks are all nice and wonderful, but without this, without the charcoal, without different woods to include and bring up the flavor from smoking chips and chunks and barrel staves, that's where your flavor comes in and gives you a recipe that's unbelievable. Okay, well, I'm going to come out and join you in just a little bit when we can finish the job, Ted. Thanks so much. My pleasure. We'll get cooking. We're going to do a nice big porterhouse. Awesome. Sounds great. Okay, so, Ted, we'll be back with us near the end of the show to grill up a tasty steakhouse recipe. Where has it there might be a little Bernays in my future? The upcoming unofficial, long, you know, summer kickoff, really, with the long weekend. That's right. For most of us coming up, and so now it's time to really get out there. And you were telling us about the benefits of charcoal, which ones to look for, and now the benefits of charcoal and the meat. And the meat. <laughs> it <laughs> is. How to do it. It's all about. Um, I, I look at the charcoal and the wood smoke as part of the ingredients of making a delicious recipe when it comes to grilling. And it really is about the flavor. For and it that. is about yeah. the flavor. Yeah. And you you can't just go buy a great steak. And, and it is important. Your steak is, a, is an important ingredient. Find a butcher. Get to know your butcher. You know, and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. I've got people yeah. coming. You can get a consistent cut. 
consistent age, consistent uh, thickness, so that you can make a better steak at home. It's when you go to the grocery store and you buy out of the rack, mm -hmm. you know, one's this thick, one's this thick. And it's, it's still expensive now, And it's still so. expensive, so you really want to look for good quality. Okay. And when you're looking at a steak like this, it's, it's all about the marbling inside. And that's what you want to have. This is a New York strip, nice and thick. This is a bone-in rib steak. This cooks a little bit faster than this. Yeah. The thicker they are, the longer they take. And it's better to actually go with a, a lower temperature. When it's a thin steak, like this is a sirloin tip steak, and it's the whole end of the sirloin. You've got lots of different muscles. This is hot and fast. It doesn't take okay. long to cook. This is a smaller rib steak, hot and fast. If it's an inch thick, direct. Mm -hmm, if it's mm -hmm. two inches thick, slow things down and you make it really, really tasty. Okay, and then it'll stay more. So what have you got going okay, on here? Okay, so we got a whole bunch of things going <laughs> on here. So in here, in the in, in our Kamado, we've been uh, smoking. It's, it's, a, it's a new method. Yeah, I was gonna say, for steak? For steak, so this is called the reverse sear. Okay. So you start out at about 225, 230 degrees, and you smoke the steak. I put a probe in it yeah. with my thermometer, so right now my internal temperature is about 110 degrees where I want to take it up to about 120 but just for what for we're our doing purposes. for our purposes we've added wood chips into the charcoal we have what's called a plate setter in there oh, so it's covering which diffuses okay. the char diffuses the heat and brings it up How and long around is that on there by the way I know it's, uh, what taking this, this earlier, is, is about 40 minutes okay it takes 40 minutes to an hour patience yes. I look at okay. it this way on the long weekend if it takes an hour to just to get this yeah. to smoke, you get three beers. It's a great excuse to sit on the patio. Exactly. <laughs> I've got to watch this. <laughs> so I want it. This is a porterhouse, and a porterhouse has that T-bone in it. Okay. It has a very large eye of the fillet, and it has the New York sirloin. So it's taking this from the T-bone and this put together oh, on the bone. Thick. That's and it's a very thick, piece. thick. So when we cut, I'm going to take this just to show you. Mm -hmm. We're going to take this right along the bone. Right along the bone. And this is a fillet. Yep. Look at that beautiful. That's right now is at a blue red. Yes. So we've just added flavor. Because we took it off at one. Over okay. to our chart to get it yeah. to the you know medium up rare. to 120. Yeah. And then we take it over okay. to our charcoal grill. Always do a little extra seasoning. Yes. Like that. And then we've got hot coals here. So that's going to sear like sear that? Sear for about two to three minutes per side, and it'll take it from that 115 to 125 range. Oh, well, that kind of lock in the Lock juices? in the flavor. Okay, wow. So you're low and slow. You're warming the meat up, really, mm -hmm. and it's not freaking it out when it hits a hot grill. Nice. Now, <clears throat> over here, this is, this is a little bit unusual cooking. So we're going to okay. take this little rib thin. steak, thin steak, and we're going to cook it. You need to season. Okay. This is just salt and pepper. Yep. But be liberal. So, okay. 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 You're making a steak. You're going to put that right on? So these are hot coals. Oh this my. is coconut charcoal. And we're just going to take this and we're going to lay it right on oh top. Oh my gosh. And it's going to cook. That stuff is going to stick on no, it. No, it's not. Okay. It I gets trust hot you. and fast. I trust you. We've and got like then this. 20 seconds left. Okay. So this <laughs> we're going to throw over here to sear it as well. We're gonna oh have a look gosh, at our so piece. Look, look, it just starts to look sear there. Look at how there. gorgeous that is. And it doesn't take long, but you need to do this with a thick cut of meat. And when you're searing, lid up? Lid up, okay. direct heat, hot and fast. You can do it on this as yeah. well, but whatever type of charcoal you grill have, you have, you've gotta have patience to get the coals to where they're really hot. And you will maintain charcoal is so much better for oh, flavor. Oh yeah, it's all about the flavor. This is it, this is the season for it. It smells, you wouldn't believe how good it smells. Out here, we'll be right back with more on Kennedy. Well, that's a, a great idea for the um, long weekend. Um, smell of vision is necessary <laughs> right so, now. So I know you talk. That's a. Por I thought it was Brontosaurus, but it's a porterhouse. <laughs> it's a porterhouse, and this fillet was on there, so I took the fillet off. Oh because yeah. Wow. This is a beautiful piece of meat. And it was it's right on tender, there, and it was on there, and we smoked it, and then, you know, we take this one here, and oh, this yum. is just. You know, and I've cooked oh, this now to fresh. just a nice medium rare to medium. Yeah. And you slice it on the bias. You don't have to eat this all by that's yourself. Just you perfect. can. And then that's a little fatty spot. And, and look, look at how that. easily look that, at that goes. It through. just melts in your it mouth. Just, it, wow. Look at that. And you just want to have, you know, when you do it, patience. It, and I'm not having yeah. patience right now. Well, dive I'm, in. I'm, I'm not, not, I don't no, need a fork. This is steak. I know eat I'm not practicing hands. patience right, right now. Right, Jeff? A little piece. Mm -hmm. All right. Jeff, do you want a piece? And all you did was season it with a little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, and it's that's all you need. It really does melt in your mouth. And then this one. That is unbelievable. This is the rib steak that we cooked just straight on charcoal. 
So you're going to get a little of that charcoal-y mm -hmm. flavor, but you can brush it off with a little brush, and oh. then you just take that. This is so sad mm -hmm. for us, Ted, to sit here and have to taste all I know, it's horrible. Thank isn't you, it? by like the way.